Our yeah. next guest is a talented actor who you know from movies like The Social Network and Zombieland. Please welcome the very talented him. Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. Great, how are you? Really good. You know, we were just talking about The Bachelorette, and I want to know, yeah. like, do you watch that? Are you into reality TV at all? No, no, I'm not. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm into real life right now. But, um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, I didn't know it's, like, uh, still on. That's amazing. It's great that they've been able to do it. Yeah, the so shame. long. It's amazing. I wonder, like, if they're going to get, like, the same people back. Like, if they got, like, divorced or whatever, they got the same people back, like, that for the second go-around, you know? That bachelorette be, times two. That's right, and then the contestants, like, know what to do, you know, to get the you person. You should be the producer. So the next round of this. I know, I know. Machiavellian. <laughs> yeah. I heard a really funny story that your first date was actually with your wife. Yes, this is probably why I don't watch The Bachelor X. Like, dating makes me so nervous <laughs> that I married the first person I went on a date with. <laughs> so, if I was on The Bachelorette, I would just, like, forfeit right away. You know, I would just, like, uh, get out of the limo or whatever they get off of and just quit <laughs> immediately because uh, dating makes me so nervous. You know, Why? Terrible. Is it just the getting to, uh, to know someone? It's... Yeah, just talking to a new person that you might sleep with is terrifying. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's funny how it just turns into a DM and then y'all in the bed together. It's very <laughs> interesting how that works. I, uh, I predated all that, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop telling on yourself, Kiki. I'm not telling myself. That's okay. the whole story you told me. Oh, oh no, I didn't tell you that. Story. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. See, I had to flip it. But now, but now, but now, Jesse, you, you're so talented, man. Everything that you do, yes, love very. watching you. And now Thank you have a new movie, The Art of Self Defense. Very yeah. interesting, dark premise. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's this like brilliant satire on like kind of modern like masculinity and the absurdities of masculinity. Uh, it's about this guy who gets attacked on the street, and so he decides to take a karate class to like learn self defense. Mm -hmm. But the karate is like this weird. I mean, like the class is like this weird cult that he gets sucked into, and it's absolutely brilliant and hysterical. So have you ever done any karate yourself before this film? Yes, I did like three weeks when I was like eight. You know, I, <laughs> this was like every suburban Jewish kid in America had to like do yes, like come on now, yes, yes, had to do like a few weeks of karate until they realized what it is and then immediately quit and then <laughs> joined a math club or something practical. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, whatever it takes. Yeah, um, exactly. Now they say they say you know you two are big big actors. What's you never that? work with kids and you never work with animals. You work yeah. with dogs in this movie. Yes, I worked with What was with, that like? It was good and bad. Like, we worked with this sweet dog. My character's only friend is this tiny little dachshund. And, Aww. you know, it's the dog that's long but then short, you know. And it's the <laughs> cutest thing, and the dog was amazing. Like, actually great. Like, did all the correct things. And, um, and then I go to this karate class, which is like a cult, and they tell me I have to be more masculine. And to be more masculine, I have to get rid of my dachshund and get a German Shepherd. Because oh, no. this, this is what men, you know, men, men have. And that dog was terrifying, you know, because the German Shepherd is like a former police dog. It only responds in German, which, as you can imagine, to me... And <laughs> You know, like terrifying on a cellular, you know, memory. Uh, uh, and um, and uh, and also, I think the dog, you know, maybe had it out for me based on, you know, <laughs> respective histories. Now yeah. I hear something also very interesting about you, which is that you never buy clothes. No, 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 I know. So no. how do you get the clothes on your back? The, I take them from movie parts. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, not from store. I don't steal anything. Well, I do, but I steal from movies that I've been in. So. <laughs> It's like kind of a gray just, area. So you change your, your, your clothing personality depending on your character. That's right. And oh, I wow. also try to take jobs where the character has a good sense of style so that I can take the clothes. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Very well thought out. But exactly, yeah. But then when we decided you were coming to come here, we, we didn't want you to go home empty-handed. So we went through our wardrobe. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And we thought you like a few of these things that we brought out here for you, buddy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You know, we got you a little hat, you know. Oh, thank you so you much. Know, we want to go to church, you know. Yeah, 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 this is perfect. I, I, I actually, I donated one of my jackets. Go ahead, man. That's, that's my so jacket. Much. That's a good wow. Whoa, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> I could kind of tell that you were bigger than me, but I didn't realize it until now. Yeah. <laughs> you wow. know, we got some socks for you. Go with the hat. Thank oh, you yeah, so and you know, much. That's got to be. a size 17. Jesus, are these your shoes? Oh, my God. I could fit, <laughs> I could fit both of my feet into one of these. Thank you so much. I was gonna give you this, but I like this. I'm gonna keep it for myself. Oh my God! That's I'm mine. <laughs> I'm but never gonna steal clothes again. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I gotta ask you before we get out of here. Yeah. What sign are you? Because your personality is so interesting. Wait, can you take a guess? Whoo! Um, I would 
guess that you are a Libra? Yes, yeah, exactly right. <gasps> what? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, October, October. What can I say? What can I say? You That's guys, amazing. the art of self defense is in select theaters on Friday and nationwide on July 19th. Here's a clip. Take a look. Your belt. It's yellow. I had it made. It's for everyday use with casual clothing. Obviously, I chose yellow because I'm a yellow belt. I wanted to wear my yellow belt all the time, but I knew it would look strange. That really is a wonderful idea. To be honest, I wish I'd thought of it. Now I could be a yellow belt in everyday life, in addition to being one in this dojo. <laughs> yes. That is actually brilliant. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's pretty Working weird. Work your way up to the black belt, my man. <laughs> I know. Well, I you know what you get? It turns out. The movie, The Art of Self Defense, is it's, it's in select theaters on Friday and nationwide on July 19th. Jesse Eisenberg, everybody. Woo! That's right.